Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you this beautiful bag pattern. It's a really simple bag that you are going to make a big rectangular and then use the flap and slip stitch on the sides. So later I will show you all the steps, how to attach the magnet pattern and how to make this beautiful belt. Actually with the belt you can experiment as well as with the whole bag. I make different types of belts and you can make also different stitches. I used double crochet and single crochet in alternation. You can make different maybe pop stitches or whatever stitches you prefer. I'm just going to give you the idea of this bag and then you can watch the whole video and then decide by yourself how to make the bag that suits best for you. You don't have to crochet multiples or chain uh, any number, you can just uh, decide by what size you want. For example, I want it for the phone, so I took my phone, I chain and then just wrap the chain around and I decided the number of chains I need. I left a bit for the flap. Later, of course, you will add more rows, so the flap will be longer, maybe until here. And that's how you can decide how big you want the bag. You can use the book instead of phone if you want a big shoulder bag. So, all depends on you. This pattern is super simple. You can do this bag in one day and uh, use uh, magnet buttons or you can use any other, you know, maybe you add a zipper or use even the lining for this bag. It's all up to you. So it's very simple, very easy and suits all beginners. I'm sure you will enjoy and the good thing you can really experiment with the stitches and make your own patterns. And so let's begin. So you may chain any number, but I'm going to make the same size of the bag that I made for my phone case. So I'm going to make 65 chains and I already showed you how you can uh, measure. So three, two, four, five, six, seven. Keep on chaining and we meet when I will have 65 chains. So <clears throat> I have 65 chains. Now I'm going to chain three more. One, two, three. Yarn over and insert your hook into the uh, fifth chain so two four and insert into the fifth chain from the hook and make one double crochet and keep going double crochet yarn over i'm going to show you slowly in case you forgot how to make double crochet Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, very easy. So you keep going until the very last stitch and then I show you how to make an increase. So just keep on with one double crochet into each stitch. So I have arrived at my last stitch and then now I'm going to make five double crochet into the last stitch. As I told you, this bag is super customizable, so you can make the chain as long as you want, depending for what purposes you are making it. And basically you can see that later you can make the flap as big or as small, and also you can make it as wide as you want. So that means that you can uh, regulate the number of increases here. The more you put increases, the wider it will be uh, at this part of the flap. And uh, yeah, for this one, I want approximately the same size. So I will put five increases like here. You must make five double crochet. One, two, three, four. 
five double crochet into the same stitch and five and we will always make five increases at this part of the back each row until we have the number of stitches that we choose for the back so I will make just one row, two row, three, four rows. You can, uh, depending on the stitches, like if you continue with double crochet, it will grow faster. If you will alternate with double crochet and single crochet, be a bit slower. So you can choose what kind of stitches and experiment with the design of the bag and I mean, it all depends on your own choice, creativity and I really like when my followers, those who follow the patterns that I share, uh, you can always experiment and put something of your own style using different stitches. You can make one absolutely following the tutorial and then the others you can experiment with the hook size, yarn and the stitches so we are going to make one half, uh, double crochet into each chain until we arrive here so you, you basically have to you can also put this one on top so you don't have to weave this and later and just use the other half of the chain that we haven't used on that side and make one double crochet into each stitch so one and another one two we are basically mirroring all the stitches we made on the other side we have the same number so go on until you arrive here and I show you how to start a new row see you later and now I have my last stitch where we had the chain of three we are going to make last stitch into the last chain and we are going to start row two so we are going to chain one because the next row we are going to make the single crochet into the back stitch only so here we have this chain one as one single crochet, don't forget that, and then move to the next stitch and make one single crochet into the back stitch only. Sorry. So just this loop and one single crochet into each stitch and when you arrive to this increase I will explain how to make increases basically you must make two single crochet into the same stitch five times so we meet at this point so we are going to make uh, five increases at this part of the bag where we have the flap. We are going to make one and then the second one into the same stitch. Then we move to the next stitch and make our second increase to double crochet or two single crochet. Then the third, the fourth, and then the last fifth increase into the back stitch only. And now we have 10 stitches here. And you are going to continue with one single crochet into each stitch until we arrive to this row and I show you how to start the row 3. So we have finished row 2 and now we are starting row 3. We are again chaining 3 because we are going to work 
double crochet into each stitch so this one chain three counts as double crochet so yarn over we are uh, moving to the next stitch and now we are going to work into the two loops so like this and we are making one double crochet into each stitch until the increase part into both loops you are going to make an increase oh sorry a one double crochet and then I'm going to <coughs> show you how to make increases here so crochet by yourself until that point so I'm going to remind you that now we are at our third row and we have our five increases on this part of the back we are going to make one increase and one single oh half one double crochet sorry so we are going to make five increases again first one you don't even have to count the stitches you must know that at this part each row you must make five increases Double crochet, then I make another increase, then I make double crochet, then another increase. Then again double crochet and another increase and the last the last increase. So I must have five increases I have one sorry I cannot say two three four and five yes and now I continue with one double crochet into each stitch until I'm here so basically you can already crochet by yourself and experiment because now you can alternate just double crochet and you can make also single crochet into the back loop only so you you can make as many rows as you want i have several rows here so here basically we have one row then single crochet this is double crochet and in this back i had just uh three rows of double crochet and then you will have the size that you want you can crochet as many rows as you want so that's absolutely up to you don't forget that here you must make five increases you don't even have to count the stitches just make approximately this equal distance but around five at this part of the back or you can count and next row you must have two double crochet between increases between these five increases I hope that was clear. If you still have questions, you can ask in the comments below. I will always try to reply to all the comments and questions in case you can send me pictures on my Telegram, Instagram or Pinterest. You can always contact me on Facebook. So I will try to help you out in case you have some problem. But this one is really simple pattern. I really believe that simpler than this is hard to imagine you could even already finish here and make something small like four glasses like this all we need later is slip stitch here this side and the bag is ready you can even keep without any button you can put the button magnet button this type of lock whatever you have 
and yeah it's perfect you see how easy and pretty it is so i will meet with you when i have finished the bag itself and i'm not going to take too long i will crochet approximately the same size maybe use different stitch and uh, i'm really curious to see your work so you can tag me on social media so i can see how you play with the stitches so see you again later so i have finished my bag now we have just to work on this edge to make it smooth and uh, to make it stronger so i'm going to make few rows of single crochet chain one and we are going to insert our hook without counting the stitches you can do just approximately in each stitch to cover the holes that you may have just go with single crochet on top of your border I'm not sure if it's called the border stitch but just to make it nice edge of the back I think I'm going to try to make two three rows of single crochet just go all without counting the stitches just go on top try to put them like when the row was of double crochet you can put two here one for single crochet round row so you don't have to be precise I have also other videos how I work on border of the bag you can watch I will attach the link in case you want to have the different look then I will make single uh, chain one and I will make another row of single crochet and I think two rows will be enough so it will look like this I will finish the row of single crochet and then I show you how to slip stitch or you can use tapestry needle to sew the both sides of the bag now I decided to give you the measurements of my bag that's not necessary your bag can be absolutely of different sizes and as I told you it's completely customizable different designs so I have 46 centimeters and long and I have around 12 Five, 12 centimeters wide that's just to give you an idea and then I do like that I do the following I decide how I want the flap how long can make different size of course you can even make a longer flap or even leave it to practically cover the whole bag that's up to you. I'm going to have or like here. I think is good for my bag. And then I just put like this 
and I find approximately the stitch that is on both sides and then you can put the marker and now you can choose to sew it with the uh, slip stitch all around with the hook or you can use the needle to sew it with the stitches so I have here the bag that I use slip stitch so you see it looks very neat you just take like this one the back stitch and the front stitch and you slip stitch it's super easy or you can use the tapestry needle and sew it with the needle to see if you think it's neater or better for you so for this bag i decided to try with the tapestry needle to see how the bag will change the look with the needle so i'm going to insert and I'm going to go <laughs> to this stitch where I have the marker. The stitch I will use is that I will go first forward and then back. So now I will show you. So I'm moving through all four loops now I'm in this stitch I'm moving to the next one and to the next one here Now I'm moving from here to the same one and then I move to the next stitch here and next stitch here so you just do one step back each stitch so you are sure going back to the previous where we just went and then move to the next stitch it's very hard for me to see on camera but I think you got the idea you can use any stitch you don't have to use this stitch you can use any stitch and just sew them together And to be honest, next time I think I will use slip stitch, which is super fast. But yeah, we can always try different stitches and see and learn how it looks like. So continue. You go uh, back on this side and forward on this side. Like that, slowly, slowly you move until here. So now I show you how the slip stitch in this bag and uh, if you sew with the needle so basically the same maybe this one is a bit thicker the bag looks thicker but 
uh, it all depends what you prefer if you prefer this look or that look you can try both stitches and then choose the one you prefer and now I will do all the same here and then we will have just to um, crochet the belt and I will attach the magnet button practically the bag is absolutely done now I'm going to slip stitch this side and then I show you the belt now I show you how to make the belt you can use this belt or any other stitch or also you can make already buy the already done belt maybe leather belt they will also look very nice so we are going to make a slip knot going to leave a bit longer end so you can sew it to the back later and now I'm going to chain three one two and three and insert into the very first stitch and make one single crochet now we are going to turn always turn clockwise on this side and to show you you have this bump here now we insert our hook two loops and make one single crochet now turn again and you have these two you take both and make one single crochet turn again you have the two loops insert both so you grab and continue you can make as long as you want I'm going to make around 100 centimeters that's the usual length for the belt that I crochet then you go under both always turn this side go under both it looks very nice it's suitable for this bag and it's very fast to make it so when I have 100 centimeters I will just sew them it here and then add the button and the bag is done so I will show you later how the bag looks like when it's completely done I have finished the crochet the belt you can make it as long as you prefer and then just cut the yarn and sew it here with tapestry needle be sure that it's not twisted anywhere so i think it looks really nice for this bag and you can just sew it by making few stitches on this edge you can take one stitch from here and one on the belt and just make a few of them so I will come back after I sew the bag the belt and then I show how I attach the magnet button now we are going to crochet a small square to attach the magnet button just chain four then chain one more and make four single crochet one two three and four and then you have just to make three more rows of single crochet just chain one doesn't count as a stitch make a single crochet into the same stitch and be sure to have four single crochet in each row and in total four rows 
Then we will sew this square into our bag to attach the magnet button. Now I have this square, just a chain one. Cut a bit longer yarn for sewing it. So if you have magnet buttons of this kind, you don't have to crochet this square. You can actually sew it on top and it will be invisible. But if you have this type, so you have to use the magnet button and since I think this color suits more this color of the yarn that's why I made this um, this um, square so I'm going to attach like this insert Something like this, maybe even a bit like this. So something like that. Try to be in the center. Then we can put like this and then just close it. So it must be something like this. And then just uh, sew it all around, trying to uh, just take the like this the stitches on top don't really go on the other side just make it and that's it uh, sew it all around and then just attach this one where you think is the good place for it and you have the magnet button so basically that's it the bag is ready of course instead of magnet button you can use the zipper or you can use uh, normal buttons whatever you, you can even make without buttons depends what you want i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial i try to make it as simple as possible that you can also experiment with stitches you just understand the principle and i try to show all the steps so anyways if you have still questions you can always ask in the comments below i really hope you write some comments if you like the video what do you think about this bag what's your favorite stitch and maybe you can give me some recommendation of the yarn and stitches i can use to make the pattern even more beautiful thanks for watching and see you again next time